Huh. <laughs> Thanks for the 750 ETO right now. And <laughs> King Sparkles mask. I didn't have to drop my camera there. Find Uncle Aiden. Whoa. Bury your dead. Where am I? Does this mean I'm inside Aiden's mind? Is he still dwelling on... On his niece? I guess. Is what this is maybe meant to be? It's what it would be if I assume. This is the... Their old house. Hey, this looks just like my old yeah. house. I was just saying. Actually, I think it is my old house. Where I grew up. Huh. Can't go in this way. Hello? Is anybody home? Finding another way in? Brick wall here that wasn't there before. Um. So I assume this is all meant Maybe to be like a representation that. Oh, that was the front door. I. I thought we were already going through the backyard. Oh, this looks more like hey. it's supposed to be him still like battling his demons and whatnot. I assume. Aiden, honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't see anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house, my hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden, you're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? Go get my phone. Huh, I know that in this version he's older, but like he looks different than what I'm used to seeing even in Watch Dogs 1. Is that really just how different he looks with a clean shaven, no hat, no big coat? At least this door's unlocked. Is this supposed to be like an even younger version of himself than we even saw in Watch Dogs 1? Hmm. hmm. Always needs his phone. It's way too clean in here. That kitchen was always a mess. We spent all our time in there. And I definitely put a crack in that cupboard door with a baseball. <laughs> Lena always made my head look twice the size of my body. That picture. Hmm. Is that me? Huh. Acquire Aiden's phone. I assume we can't go in through any of these doors, huh? Oh, I haven't thought of this place in a long time. Mom sold it years ago. Aiden's captured it like a time capsule. <laughs> Is this his phone? I spent so much time here rewriting words just trying to learn how to spell. That's still like one of the freaking Watch Dogs I... Legion new phones, isn't it? Instead of one of the old... No, that's a freaking notepad still. I guess. <laughs> I thought that was the phone where it was like one of those translucent kind of things. It's just a top sticky note on a freaking notepad. I guess or something. This isn't creepy at all. Phone's got to be in here. Gotcha. There it is. Right. Well, who's been calling Aiden? Nikki. Mom. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you're gonna disappoint him, there's a second floor, just right? I'm just curious where the stairs up even would instead be. Instead of getting his hopes up. Whatever. Just curious. I took him home. We left. Yes, I think there would be. Looks that way from outside. I could have sworn, right? Yeah, there's a second floor. There's just... It's gotta be behind one of those doors that you're not allowed to go through. Like, it probably isn't a actual mapped out thing, Bob. I was just curious. Huh. Hmm. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, Mom, actually. She... Didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden, I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, I've got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? 
Yeah, sure. If you say so. Huh. I feel like one of the problems with the story of Watch Dogs 1 is that it didn't really wrap up Aiden's character. Like, he kind of... Oh... He kind of developed in the sense where he's like, okay, he realizes that maybe his his ways aren't going to be the solution to what he hoped it would be. It was the solution to some other things, but he also wound up hurting those around him in the process. But we saw, like, him not really still have the motivation to, like, change his ways or anything like that. And still the same kind of thing with the beginning of this... Of this side story here. But now we're seeing him have to actually, like face that side of himself directly. Wait, what the hell? Is this still the house? Huh. His <laughs> texture's in there a little wonky, but... Huh. Well, then. Lena? There's no way. This is creepy. That was like an electronic interaction thing there. Watch Dogs tries to be too much. Well, it's interesting seeing this kind of perspective here because it's like, is this what's going through his mind and whatnot? Since, oh, well, <laughs> nothing through here. Oh, wait, do I want to go into the darkness? It said follow Lena. I don't know what. Instant game over. Uh. Oh, so just don't go into the darkness. The it just brings started. it back here. I better okay. Take a different path. <laughs> Imagine it's just like, you tried. But yeah, I do feel like with the original game that it did try to like be tackling too much. And at the end of the day, they did have, you know, Aiden's character not exactly properly wrapped up. Like he learned a bit where he's like, you know, freaking, if I try going out on this crazy journey of revenge and trying to like set up my family to be like safe and stuff, I'll just be hurting people in the process but that didn't stop him from doing it even as he kept on seeing more and more signs of that throughout the game and even in the beginning of the ZLC side story he still comes to freaking you know do this freaking mission help out with Jackson there and be like oh I'm gonna do this job and like set you up with lots of money and stuff and Jackson is like no I'm freaking fine you don't have to help us we're fine we're not in any trouble I don't have to worry about that and he's like well I want to do it anyway just because that's the that's the way he is. So it was shown, like, at the beginning of this. At the beginning of Watch Dogs 1 and at the beginning of this, he had changed a bit. He hadn't changed as much. Um, like, it was interesting seeing some of the ways that he changed from Watch Dogs 1 to this game. Like, in the original game, any freaking baddie comes after him and he's like, Well, time to kill you and freaking be like the vigilante and stuff. Whereas in this game, when Jackson was kidnapped and... You know, the big bad was asking Aiden for something. Aiden is like, yeah, I'm just going to give it to him. Some fights are worth losing. Like, he didn't want to cause that kind of pain anymore. And so it's like he has developed to the point where it's like, yeah, maybe I don't need to have this, like, desperate struggle to win every fight all the time. But, you know, he's still shouldering a whole bunch of this stuff. This is a bit. Um, play control, watch Marv play control for over three hours. I didn't understand what it was about. That's kind of how I felt about, like, main game of Watch Dogs League. I thought that some of the arguments that this game made in its main game were, like, very fascinating. But it didn't have that much of an overall kind Fuck. of story and, like, thing that it was portraying. Now in this, it's, like, directly portraying some things. What the fuck and is going on? And hopefully gonna wrap up Aiden a lot you? better than Watch Dogs 1 did, I you? hope. Because you can't be Lena. My sister died when I was little. Is this some kind of sick joke? This is rather spooky. This is some Five Nights stuff right here. This is some Five Nights VR stuff right here. Huh. Well, that door's closed. Help me. Okay, well, this... Oh. Huh? Hello? Hi, we've been trying to contact you about the extended warranty on your car insurance. Well, am I going back now? Oh, no. I don't like this. <laughs> this... Huh? Uh... 
Um... You know, I don't know what I was expecting from this DLC side story here, but it was, um... Not this. I've learned before not to go into the darkness, so I guess I'm going towards the help me? I don't know how I feel about this. Um... A whole bunch of that plush all over the place. <laughs> well... I feel like, you know, we're kind of seeing this more intimate side of Aiden that we didn't get to see as much within Watch Dogs 1. Where he's just like, just vigilante, like revenge. I'm gonna do, do it. Like, you could tell there was some deeper stuff going on with his motivations there, but the game never actually took the time to, like, portray it. Like, it's going way out of its way to portray it right now. Huh. That way? It sounded like it was that way. That's opening up into darkness. I've learned not to go into darkness, so, uh... Lena, this isn't funny. I don't... I don't like this. Can we please stop? I don't want to play this game. This is a very long section. It's a whole lot of that plush, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's not creepy at all. Oh, I can't run anymore. It's just uh, forcing me into a slow... Walk. It's supposed to be simulating the sounds of like the car crash, the accident. Oh, is this that tunnel where it happened? Shit. Oh my it's goodness, it is. You you waiting, yeah? I'm scared to be here, Lena. I don't like thinking about this day. I don't want to go through it again. It's okay. We're going to help Uncle Aiden. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um... Mom? Arden, are you okay? This was the worst day of my life. And it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over it, too. I'm not over it. And I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No. But... Maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal. But I guess Aiden hasn't. Huh. Acquire Aiden's ball cap. Oh, it's just on there. I found Aiden's cap. Now we need his coat. There's another door. Did that close up again? Oh, it did, didn't it? Huh. Huh. Well, it was very interesting seeing that perspective as well, though, with Jackson saying, like, hey, we found a way to heal and be able to move on with life and whatnot. But the way that it was showing his mother here was as still, like, deep in grief and blaming Aiden. And this being in Aiden's mind is an interesting way to show that he thinks that she blames him. When she doesn't, really. Something that... I kind of wish we had seen some more of in the original original game. You know, to understand that he thought that she blamed him and he needed to do everything he could to make it right when she didn't blame him and just wanted them to move on with their lives. Huh. So now we need his coat. We're back in the house again. <laughs> These doors are closed. Water dripping through the ceiling. It's 
so talk to Aiden, I guess. We don't have his coat yet, but we have his, uh, we have his cap. I've got your cap, and you're leaving with me right now. Still need my coat. Fuck your coat. Fuck this, this literal mind game. You know what I saw in there, right? Is Lena just in there all the time? We need to get the fuck out of here, so let's go. I told you I need to finish this first. And what is this exactly? A grave? Your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. I know you won't let me down. He is trying to dig his own grave, isn't he? make a thing for himself. It looks like he's shoveling dude dude into there. Dirt into there, though. Rather than, you know, digging out. Maybe... Oh, <laughs> so maybe it's just supposed to be another version of himself in there or something. Said that that's Where's the way that he's leaving. It looks Can't like do it without you. Back to the house, but... Oh, yes. Pull it. Pull it. Twist it. Bop it. Is this... We actually do platforming. Is this gonna be like the way that Watch Dogs 1 initially tried to try out parkour? And Watch Dogs 2 like expanded on that and then Watch Dogs Legion was just like, yeah, parkour, yeah, that's... No, that's not really a thing anymore. Jesus. Why is there all this blood? Whose blood is this? Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting, but it certainly wasn't this. Um, I need to find another way around. Do I, is I this gonna to be a puzzle? There. Oh no. Well, puzzle time. Hmm. Is this gonna make other ones go down? Let's see here. I pulled this one. It's literally puzzle time. Why am I frozen? Oh, there we go. Teleport. So if I pull it again, will it make those two go up? Yeah, so that one toggles those three. This one toggles those two. I think I've got it. Have I? Wait. Wait. Is that just... Oh! Okay. Well, uh... Hell I was ready to, you know, puzzle there for a while. Okay. <laughs> Need to find Aiden's code. You know, just focus on that. There were some times that some of these Watch Dogs games have been pretty freaky in like brief moments. This might be the most freaky that <laughs> that's gotten so far. I guess the door's gonna slam closed. Nope. My audio cut out. Don't crash. Don't crash. Oh, I thought my game crashed for a second. Gotta go while I appreciate you stopping by Alucard. Have a good rest of the night. And, uh, oh no. The heck is this? Interact? Did I do anything there? Oh, that is a prison cell thing? Um, I was fine. No, my headphones are, I, I need to replace them or something. It just cuts out. It sucks. I've only had them for a few months. And apparently that's outside of the range for being able to like return them and whatnot. Sometimes they'll pop, sometimes they just cut out for a few seconds. It sucks. Acquire Aiden's coat, huh? I interacted with this. Is there something else to, like, interact with? And yeah, we can crouch walk around. What the heck is this? What brand are they? These are Logitech. I had the same brand for, like, a year and a half to close to two years. And then they, and then they died. So I replaced them with the same kind because I actually rather like them. 
um, because they lasted for like two years and I was like, oh, maybe it was just dumb luck. Whereas this time they lasted for like three and a half months or something like that and now they're just dying. Because there are very few headset headphones that work for me. The headset headphones for me need to go like all the way over my ears like these do or else they give me like wicked headaches. And these are like one of the few pairs that freaking oh go all the way God. over my ears, my house looks unfortunately. Like a crime scene. So, what the fuck happened in here? I'll probably try to find a different pair somewhere else at some point. But I won't just be able to order them like online or something like that because if I do, then I'm not gonna know if they go all the way over my ears to avoid giving me headaches. I'm gonna have to like, you know, Jesus. <laughs> actually try out Who some, the fuck I guess. Are all these people? Fuck, I think they're all dead. So that's my headphone Who? situation. Is the killer still in here somewhere? Oh shit, shit, shit. Aiden, stop! What are you doing here? Who are all these people? Did you do all this? What? He can't hear me. Huh. It's almost like he's frozen or stuck. Stuck doing the same thing over and over again. All this blood on his hands. Aiden's trapped. I need to find a way to interrupt this. Break the cycle. Bear your dead, break the cycle. Can I interact here? Switch places? No. Aiden, enough! I need something from you, and it's not this guy dead. I need your coat. Help me? Huh? What? <laughs> that kind of scene could have been way better done. Then we head outside again. Yeah, catch you later, Alucard. Um, I'm back. This better work. Huh. Hi. I have your coat. Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skibbies, you know. Just for the occasion, as it were. So that's it? You're just giving up? I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I have blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all the rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle, too. impressive some of the readings on the broker bridge were wholly unexpected i don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth both jesus how did i miss jackson your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the larson family scholarship for another two years well done but as our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both.
I know. Mission started face to face. That was a really interesting last mission that we just did there with uh, playing as Jax and delving into Aiden's mind. I think that that was a really cool way to wrap up Aiden's character that we didn't get to see in Watch Dogs 1. You know? Ah, uh, what a beautiful reunion. Gosh, I'm tearing up over here. You can't tell though because of the mask. I feel like that angel from that movie. Now that I've brought Mr. Pierce and Mr. Pierce back together, I can go get my wings. Thanks for all your help, Branch. No need to thank me. Just promise me your firstborn. And now, <laughs> I'm off. Wait, where are you going? I'm glad you got Aiden back. Now I've got my own thing to settle. Going after Rempart? Listen, man. I just went into the mind of a guy who had trouble letting shit go. It wasn't fun. Maybe you should just walk away from this. I really can't. Okay. Well, then we'll help you. Whatever you need to do, let's do it together. We've got you. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So now we're approaching the finale of this story. French, we're set up back at your hideout. So, where do you think Rampart might be? Rampart's burned all his bridges with his business partners in London. So I think he'll try to start fresh somewhere else. Does he have a private jet? <laughs> I can't picture him strolling through Heathrow. Rampart's got a private. I've got no mask right now. The Thames. On the books, moves company cargo. Off the books, he smuggles in people, contraband, you name it. Jordy used him once or twice. Um, <laughs> is your friend Jordy a sociopath? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> He's so scary, but also sexy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so that barge is Rempart's best bet to get out of the city discreetly. I need to catch up with him. Okay, is it gonna be faster to fast travel? Not at this point, we'll just keep on driving in that a case. So now, we're approaching the finale of this little DLC side story. When Rempart's we were delivering the Broker Bridge to Rempart as Aiden back then, I thought that might have been the finale. I'm really glad it wasn't. How am I gonna catch up to him now? Swim? I think I know someone who can help you out. Talk to the captain. captain that me Is that from the beginning of the game? Let him know you're coming. Oh, phew. The dude that talked I mean, about family. Hey, I look great in a speedo, but I can't actually swim that fast. My legs are too skinny. Just <gasps> well, what are you gonna do to <laughs> Hello, hello, it's your boy. How's it going today? Yeah. Duh. Obviously. Wait, there's a thing over here. Rampart's a scumbag. But you've worked with him. You have a history with him. Even if it's justified, killing him won't settle things the way you want it to. You want to lecture me about that? Really? <laughs> this is why you're running support, Pierce Sr. No backseat revenging! <laughs> no backseat revenging. My oh my. Well, another freaking collectible thing, Bob. But yeah, good to hear you're doing well. I'm doing pretty, pretty well. I'm actually really enjoying this DLC side story that this game added. I think I've been enjoying it a lot more than the base game, actually. And... I really want to see how it plays out. You look like a seafaring scallywag. Are, are you Aiden's ship captain? Aiden? We? Oui. You say you need a boat? Yes, please. I uh, need a boat to get onto a bigger boat. And you are his uh, family? Uh, well, not ex not exactly, but I do kind of look up to Aiden like he's my grumpy uncle. So you know, we're still equals. He's more like my second cousin, brother, uncle, father figure. Ah, still compliqué. Bon, let's go. <laughs> when you start this mission, fixer contracts will be locked. They will be available again once you complete the main story. We've done all the fixer contracts, so this doesn't matter. It is a-okay. But yeah, so this just released recent. Oh, there's a loading screen that's about to load. Ah, 